Hey everyone! Welcome back to another video. In today's lesson, we're diving into seven weird signs of colon cancer that can show up on your skin. While colon cancer is usually known for digestive symptoms like pain or bleeding, in some rare cases, your skin might actually be the first place to show that something's wrong inside your body. So in this video, we're going to explore what colon cancer is, what the usual symptoms look like, how it's diagnosed and treated, and then, We'll get into seven rare and really unusual skin signs that could be linked to colon cancer. And some of these signs are so strange or subtle. They often go completely unrecognized or get mistaken for things like aging or rashes. So if you stick around until the end, you'll walk away with a clear understanding of what to look out for and when it might be time to ask more questions. Let's get started. All right, so colon cancer, or technically colorectal cancer when it involves the rectum too, is a type of cancer that starts in the large intestine. And yeah, it's one of the most common cancers in the world, especially in people over 50. But recently, and I mean really recently, like reports from 2025, doctors have been seeing more and more cases popping up in younger adults too, even people in their 30s and 40s, which is, honestly, kind of alarming. Now, most cases of colon cancer begin as these small, non-cancerous clumps of cells called polyps. And over time, sometimes over years, some of these polyps can turn into cancer. That's why screening, like colonoscopies, is so important, because it lets us catch those polyps before they become something more serious. So the tricky part is, in the early stages, colon cancer might not cause any noticeable symptoms at all. But when it does start to show itself, here's what people typically notice. You might get cramping or abdominal pain that just doesn't go away. Some people notice blood in their stool, either bright red or it might make the stool look dark and tarry. Your bowel habits can change, like suddenly getting constipated, having diarrhea, or your poop looks thinner than usual. There can be weight loss that doesn't really make sense or just this constant fatigue, even if you're sleeping well. And one weird one, feeling like you still need to go even after you've just had a bowel movement, that feeling that your bowel hasn't completely emptied. Now, if you're noticing any of these things, especially for more than a couple of weeks, it's definitely something worth getting checked out. So, how do doctors figure out if someone actually has colon cancer? Well, the main test is a colonoscopy. That's where they use this long, flexible tube with a tiny camera to look inside your colon and check for polyps or tumors. They might also do stool tests to check for hidden blood or even DNA markers from cancer cells. Some people get CT scans or virtual colonoscopies, which are kind of like 3D imaging of the colon. And of course, if they find anything suspicious, they'll take a biopsy. That's where they collect a small piece of tissue to examine under the microscope. Once a diagnosis is confirmed, they'll figure out the stage, meaning how far the cancer has spread, and then build the treatment plan from there. So, Treatment really depends on the stage. In early cases, surgery might be all you need. They just remove the part of the colon with the tumor. If it's more advanced, then you might need chemotherapy, radiation, or even newer stuff like immunotherapy or targeted drugs, especially if your tumor has certain genetic mutations. Oh, and by the way, in 2025, there's some exciting research happening around something called liquid biopsies. These are blood tests that look for tiny bits of cancer DNA and they might help us catch cancer recurrences way earlier in the future. All right, now let's get into the strange symptoms on the skin. While colon cancer starts in the gut, it can sometimes send out signals that show up on the surface of the body. And when it does, it's usually through something called a perineoplastic syndrome. Now, that's just a fancy word that means your body is reacting to a tumor in a weird, indirect way. The tumor might be releasing hormones or triggering your immune system, and that creates symptoms in totally unrelated parts of the body, like the skin. So let's walk through seven of these weird, rare, but very real skin signs that might, in some cases, be a clue to colon cancer. We'll start with one that's a bit shocking, cutaneous metastases. So cutaneous metastases are when colon cancer cells actually travel through the bloodstream and start growing in the skin. This doesn't happen often, and when it does, it's usually in later stages. But what's crazy is that in some cases, these skin nodules are the first thing to appear. 
They usually look like firm, painless lumps under the skin. They might be pink, flesh-colored, or sometimes red or purple. And they often show up on the belly, usano, especially near the belly button, or around old surgical scars. They can also ulcerate, meaning the skin breaks down or gets crusty. So if you or someone you know has these strange, growing lumps on the skin, especially in the abdominal area, definitely don't ignore it. Now, let's talk about the sign of Lezertrella. This one's actually kind of sneaky. You know those waxy, brown, wart-like spots people get on their back or chest as they get older? Those are called seborrheic keratosis, totally harmless and super common with aging. But here's the weird part. If a person suddenly breaks out in a ton of them, like all at once, and they're super itchy, that might be something else entirely. That sudden onset is called the sign of lesser trelat. And it's been linked to internal cancers, including colon cancer. Doctors think tumors might be releasing growth factors that stimulate the skin to form these lesions. Now to be clear, not every itchy skin tag means cancer. But if there's a sudden explosion of these lesions, especially if they're growing fast and spreading, it's worth asking about. Next up, malignant acanthosis nigricans. So, acanthosis nigricans normally happens in people with insulin resistance. You'll see dark, velvety patches in places like the armpits, groin, or back of the neck. And if you're overweight or have type 2 diabetes, this is actually pretty common. But in rare cases, this condition can appear suddenly and be much more severe. It can spread quickly, affect weird places like the lips or eyelids, and may be part of something called malignant acanthosis nigricans. And when that happens, it could be a sign of a hidden cancer, including colon cancer. So again, the clue here is how fast it appears, how extensive it is, and whether there's any history of metabolic issues. Now, here's one that not many people, even in medicine, know about. Sweet syndrome. Weird name, right? This is a rare skin condition that causes these red or purple tender bumps or plaques, mostly on the arms, face, or neck. People often get a fever with it, and blood tests show high white cell counts. It's painful, and it kind of looks like an allergic reaction or infection, but it's not. Now, it's more common in people with blood cancers like leukemia, but it's also been linked to solid tumors, including colon cancer. Moving on to maybe the strangest one on this list, acquired hypertrichosis lanuginosa. Okay, let me break that down. Hypertrichosis means excess hair growth. Lanugo is that soft, fine hair that newborn babies have. So in this condition, adults, fully grown adults, suddenly start growing lanugo-like hair on their face, arms, or even ears and back. It's very fine, almost like peach fuzz. And if it happens suddenly, it might be linked to an internal cancer. And, yep, colon cancer is one of the possibilities. It's super rare, but when it shows up, it often starts months or even years before the tumor is detected. All right, next is something that looks more autoimmune, but can actually be perineoplastic too, dermatomyositis. This is an inflammatory disease that causes muscle weakness and strange skin rashes. People get a purplish rash around their eyes, what's called a heliotrope rash, or red scaly patches over their joints, like the knuckles or elbows. In rare cases, this condition is triggered by an internal cancer, including colorectal cancer. And last on the list, necrolytic migratory erythema. That's a mouthful, but it's actually a distinct rash. It causes red blistering patches of skin that tend to appear in the groin, buttocks, or around the mouth. They come and go and can be painful or itchy. Usually this rash is linked to glucagon secreting tumors from the pancreas, but there have been isolated reports of it happening in people with GI cancers like colon cancer too. All right. Let's wrap this up. If you're watching this and thinking, wait, I've seen one of these signs before, don't panic. Most of these skin findings are very rare, and having one of them doesn't mean you have colon cancer. But if they show up suddenly, grow rapidly, or show up alongside other symptoms like unexplained weight loss or digestive issues, it's definitely worth getting checked out. Sometimes your skin might be the first clue that something deeper is going on and recognizing those clues early? It could make all the difference. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit the like button 
and subscribe if you want more simple, clear medical lessons like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.